So in that sense, whenever you have data, where did that go once again? All right. So wherever you have data, wherein you have mixed values, numerical and categorical data, right? Wherever you have categorical data, create dummy variables, which will have zero to one range. Then use Euclidean distance for all to calculate the distance, right? That's a simple way. Or you can use Gower's general dissimilarity coefficient two ways. Either do this or do this. Goer's general dissimilarity is in this way. This is how you calculate that. So, ah, my bad, once again, using the pointer and it's, okay. So if you do not want to create the dummy variable, this is how you calculate the distance between two records. Just remember this formula. I will write it down here. See, you're trying to find out the distance between I'll, I'll hide everything, yeah? I'll hide all of these. Say you're not creating any dummy variables. Say you have all numerical values and non-numerical values. The formula to calculate the distance is distance between IJ, distance between say Brown and um, Caltic is equal to summation of K. Here you'll have WIJK and DIJK divided by summation of k w i j k i and j is this this is i and this is j and each and every variable is k right so if i say k equal to one we are referring to first column sat score k equal to two we are referring to top 10 k equal to three we are referring to acceptance ratio k equal to four student faculty ratio k equal to five six and seven Right, so if you try to find out the distance between these two, the formula remains the same. Of course, you need to standardize the data, friends. You need to standardize the data and then we need to calculate the distance. Why, need, why, why do we need to standardize? Because otherwise expenses will have a huge influence on the distance. So say you have standardized the data for these two and the, that standardized data, assuming that these are the standardized values, right? 310 minus 14, 15 whole square plus 89 minus 100 whole square, 89 minus 100, plus 22 minus 25 whole square plus 13 minus 6 whole square. Of course, this is also in under root only. Since there's no space, I'm writing it here. Plus 22704 minus double. Uh, 63,575 whole square plus 94 minus 81 whole square. Now, you'll get a value, of course, but we also have a categorical variable. Now, this WIJK is applicable only for your categorical column. It's not applicable for your numerical column. So from SAT score to graduation rate, it is not applicable. And uh, since this is categorical, this is applicable. So W, I, J, K, wait for I and J for this column K equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? For the seventh column, K equal to seven, right? So one and two is the first and second row. So W, one, two, and K is seven. So W, one to seven is equal to zero or is equal to one rather if these two are dissimilar. But if you had petrol here also, this W one to seven would have been zero. What does that mean? 
this entire distance formula will become zero if you have categorical variable where you have same category. If you have different categories, then you need not worry absolutely. Yeah, that is how this is calculated. All right. So that is your Goers, you know, distance calculation basically. And look at this. What do they say here? WIJK usually one or zero depending whether or not the comparison is valid for the kth variable. Only for categorical variables it's useful. For numerical variables it is not useful. Simple. Mm -hmm.